Hi, and welcome to Traveling Marlins. I'm Gail, and I'm going to do another review on Disney World, this time Epcot. And I loved Epcot, my two favorite parks of the four, Magic Kingdom and Epcot. So I'm excited to share with you what we saw there. And hopefully I won't lose my ears again. <laughs> If you saw the bloopers last week, it was pretty funny. All right, about Epcot. I guess I'm the dummy in the world because I didn't know that much about Epcot. Uh, I had seen the, the ball, and that's really all I knew about Epcot, <laughs> that it had this gigantic ball-looking thing. And it looked scientific, you know? So I really thought Epcot was just a sterile-type, museum type park that featured different countries. So as you can imagine, to my delight, I was so excited when I really saw what Epcot was all about. What is also pretty neat about Epcot is, um, you know, there's, th there's different countries and most of the people I noticed and listened to at those different countries spoke the dialect of that country. And that was really neat. It really puts you into the ambiance. And of course, with the music, that helps as well because they have the music popped in in the different areas that go along with that country. I think they thought of everything. And before we get started, I'm gonna stress to you again to take advantage of the early entry. When you stay at a Disney property, that includes Fort Wilderness, you have the opportunity to go to the parks early before the general public goes. And you're going to see, especially this time in Epcot, because I took a lot of footage during that early entry time, that there's hardly any people on the streets. And it was amazing, absolutely amazing. I don't know about other parking lots, but when we were walking in, it was pretty empty. And yes, the first thing that catches your attention when you walk into the park is that big giant ball. And I'm sorry, I don't know exactly what the name of it is, but if there is a particular name, which there probably is, I'll put it on the screen. During the day, the the ball is, it's okay. You know, it's just a big white ball. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like at nighttime at the end of this episode. And it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to ask you to please subscribe and hit the bell. Over 90% of the people who watch our channel aren't subscribed and it helps us tremendously. Uh, we need more subscribers so we can get more tools that we can use within our videos. And it helps you to hit the bell so you know when we upload the videos. So please subscribe, and I've got a QR code right here, and you can click it if you're on a television or whatever and you have your camera to be able to take a picture. And if you are using your camera, then just look below this video and you're going to see where it says subscribe. And of course you have to be logged in to subscribe. So log in, subscribe, hit the bell, and even a thumbs up if you don't mind. Thanks. If you saw the video with Christine, and I'll put the link right up here. So if you didn't see it, take a look. It's, it's pretty good. You get to meet Christine, and she helped us a lot with our planning of this trip. But as she says, there's different festivals, different celebrations that Epcot features just all throughout the year. When we were there, it's called the Festival of Arts and it was beautiful. So take a look. This was pretty cool. They set up frames so you could get behind there and get your picture taken. map of Epcot 
and I'm also going to put a link to the map down in the description so you can go to that and look at it or even print one off. Do you see anything unusual about this water up? <laughs> it's not a waterfall, it's a water up. are always like this. They may have different designs, but it was gorgeous. Now, let's go around and look at these countries. And after we look at the countries, I'm going to show you a fabulous fabulous, outstanding, top, I'll give it a 10, fireworks, light, water show. And I'll give you a couple of little hints about that too. So enjoy Epcot as far as the countries go, and then I'll get back with you before the fireworks.
jump right onto your shoulder. Especially if you're eating snacks, he'll try and steal it right out of your mouth.
have a boat and it takes you across the water, but also from my understanding, now we didn't do this because I didn't know about it, darn it, but I'm telling you, my understanding is you can take the boat out, well not take the boat out, <laughs> there's a guy that takes you in the boat, but you know what I mean, you get in the boat and you can go out into the water and there you can watch the show, the fireworks, light, water show. Harmonious is what they call the name of the show. And that would be really cool. Darn, I wish I'd known about that. But now you do. So I think that's true because I heard it from a couple of people. If you know for sure that you can do that, please put something in the comments below so we'll all know. But if that's right, that would be a fantastic place to see the show. Okay, now see those things out in the water? That's part of the show. That's what makes the show. And you're going to see that here just momentarily. So watch very carefully. And you're going to see that they're closed right now. But they're the arms, I'm going to call them arms, they open up and they shoot out water and have lights on them. And then they move back and forth. So it's really neat. So enjoy it. Watch the show. Anyway, it was really neat. And then here's that big, beautiful ball at night. That's all we have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, please subscribe. And again, there's like 90% of you guys who are watching and aren't subscribed. So log in, subscribe, hit the bell, and some of these would work too. Have a great week and we will see you 
next Friday or whenever you can come back and watch. Bye.